You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped. You... Okay. She buried... She never... It is specific to self-transfiguration. And it is in my... That... Now... She's... But she has used her sight. She's concerned... That you... I... Ju Thank you for being... You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented boots. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. 
I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. 
I'll let you know when I have news of her location. My mother used to say I was lazy. I wonder who lives here. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. I should be going now. Thank you. Those that go to Azkaban never had a That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. This must be the castle where Miss Coffey's never ran away. Now to find a way inside. Ash 
find us. I'd better find a way around them. Or perhaps through them. <laughs> To your knees! Expect your protection! Don't do it! 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 Don't do it
I should follow the treasure to find that Niffler. Treasure? That Niffler is certainly leaving quite a trail. than you. Coins must have come from this coffee's niffler. I might as well grab the niffler. I'm here now. Step in here. Rebellion. Accio. 
Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Seems a pleasant enough little place. My poor Rococo. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? I'm sure he'll be happy to go home. He will. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. Off on another adventure, are we? I thought my owl might pique your interest.
I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Rebellion. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Goblins will finally rule over. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. What was that? Feel as though I'm not alone. Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Let's get this over. Potato! Stop! I'm afraid of points! <laughs> Akio! <laughs> 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 And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. For better or for worse, we're in. Revelio. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. I'm 
Xerox loyalists are in here. <sighs> Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Revelio. That leg is Any ideas? Revelio. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hair of face, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. You've seen better days. Incendio! Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She will. Ramrock's loyalists all but declared war. Luma. Lumos. Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome. We have trip. another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Who's there? Red Rock will lead us to victory! <laughs> Stop 
I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teeming with it. And we're much more fun to fight with. Incendio! Now, a rune symbol. Above the cabin door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Sebastian, I think I found something. Hopefully it will help Canvas us unravel piece. more of this mystery. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something Lewis. about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft. Why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless... And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. As bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? 
All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Hogsmeade, here I come. Much of the dark arts that frightens me as long as they have me one. Dark wizards are greedier than me. It's not like her to forget. A sickle? A galleon? I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. 
Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. it home safely. Oh good, it looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. I wonder how. Dragus Totalis! Couldn't bring up! Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. to capture at least 10 years. Repair her. Fantastic. There she is again. She 
She's breathtaking. From a distance. Revelio. Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for... There's no turning back. Now. Wait here. I'll run ahead. Whenever you're ready, I'll go. I'll go. Follow when it's safe. to make it to the nest. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. There's the nest. We're almost there. Why is every bridge here broken? Lumos. Lumos. Repair her. <laughs> now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it and the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... 
Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Rebellion.
Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help. you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. 
Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. is looking at us. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll see. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Ravenio. I believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Still can't believe we're inside a real goblin. I've read about mines like this, but seeing it is something else altogether. I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. Ravenio. 
He won't get through as long as we can be seen by that eye. see a thing. character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bow, a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Revelio.
Ravenia. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Let me know if you see any more plans and schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Confirm. Ravenia. Devil snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Lumos! Lumos. Lumos! Yes, of course. Revelio. What was that? I feel as though I'm not alone. That should be the last of them, I'll meet. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgok what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Hello, Amora. We're almost out of here, our meat. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Can we that wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, 
If you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. When I heard she had been killed, you think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can.
Revelio. Rebellion. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. I should investigate. Rebellion. Incendio. Here, I wonder. Uh. 
Rebellion. 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 Hello. Are you here for someone as caught? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose... I mean, play a match? Of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig, I'll never top that. Accio. Precisely as planned. competition. Hard luck. Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit.
precisely as planned. Akio. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Akio. as planned. For another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. Top that. Akio. Such grace. <laughs> Finesse. as planned. Akio. Hmm, nice technique. Hard luck. Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. Akio! Precisely as planned. Akio! Never top that. Akio. Precisely as planned. Hmm, nice technique. Akio. as planned. Akio. Hmm, nice technique. You almost beat me there, but I almost beat you too. Hard luck. Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. Planned. 
is planned. <laughs> Sting me with a billy wig. I'll never top that. Akio. Precisely as planned. Such grace, <laughs> finesse. Hard luck. Care for another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. For another round? Absolutely. Don't count me out yet. That's the spirit. I 
precisely as planned. Accio. Hmm, nice technique. Wow, you are good. I'm not too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I play by intuition, natural skill and all that. That's been my strategy. I suppose it only gets you so far, though. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to you're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting.
hand. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. If you owe me, Gap. Revelio. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. I'm over here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose! This is going well! <laughs> no success there. Say so myself. Excellent. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost.
It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. You take care of yourself. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? <sighs> How's my favourite test flyer? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello again, Mr Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my questioning his residence. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. 
We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <sighs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined, repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, Revelio. I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Yeah, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie.
Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Biggle's friends. <laughs> Must be around Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty.
It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Oh, <laughs> Natty must be around here somewhere. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Ravelio, no, students get what's coming to them. <laughs> He must have been taken this way. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Akio! She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. says her friend will be reckless enough. He wants them a Only a Hogwarts student would be arrogant enough to come. Oh, what's the lie? Let me 
Revelio. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Revelio.
Rebellion. He must be here somewhere. Revelio. You found us. I knew you were over here. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon my wand. It must be blocked by something. Rebellion. My wand is somewhere in this room. I can tell. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Hello, Hamora. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rape, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now. You best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Go lightly. Be as a shadow. Revenue. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back.
Revelio. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Let's find all the things and put an end to Hano once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. <laughs>